Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lara Tukuvedi, as you should know, but if you don't know, now you know. Um, today's video is going to be slightly different because, um, as you guys can see by the title, I am going away. I've actually been... Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lara Tokubedi, as you should know. But if you don't know, now you know. Um, I just want to start off saying that I've been dreading this video. I've been dreading recording this video. But at the same time, I just feel like I need to sit down and record this video because you guys need to know we need to be fully informed about what's going on if i'm not going to be recording if i'm not going to be active if i'm just going to basically disappear into thin air you guys need to know what exactly is happening or have an idea of what is happening um so i am going away for about 21 days minimum it can extend longer depending on I can't really get into the details but I just can't why am I making such a mess um I, I'm just not sure on how long I'm gonna be there so what why am I going away where am I going away to um I don't know where I am going as yet I can't say exactly what it um, is about but I can sort of give you guys an idea so that you don't feel like what is the use of this video if you're not even gonna tell us what is happening with you and why you won't be uploading <laughs> so um, for about um, about maybe 13 years <sighs> I'm not gonna calculate it and all that but plus minus 13 years I've just been going through a lot and I've been bearing everything just keeping it inside or if I confided in someone I would confide about this and that but not everything because the person I am is I'm just very selfless and I like to not weigh down on another person i like to bring happiness joy laughter so i don't like to get i haven't liked to get deeper into the issues that have affected me all these years um and i didn't i wasn't aware that everything that has happened to me and all of that has impacted how I talk to people how I behave how I feel about myself how I handle friendships relationships family just how I um, have relationships with other people beside outside of myself so I didn't think it had an impact but when I look back I've seen how um, it's it's made me act a certain way um and it has i've lost a lot of friends i've lost um a lot of trust from family as well because of that certain behavior but that certain behavior was because there was a lot going inside going on inside and i just yeah I, I wasn't aware that i was acting this way to get something from those people so i've lost a lot of friends as i've said i've lost a lot of trust from even my current friends but maybe they're trying to forgive me and just let go and try to trust me again and the same goes for my family because one thing i can say is that the guilt has taken its toll on me um and i'm a very sensitive person so i am um, 
I'm a very sensitive person so I have had a lot of guilt all these years and I've let it come to this point um, to the point where recently in the in the past few days I've been lashing out I haven't been talking much I haven't been laughing much I haven't been my true self um, I love food but the recent few days I haven't even been eating much just like one meal um, I can't sleep at night I only sleep during the day um, when I can um, I have a lot going on and it's like the thoughts are just becoming louder and louder and louder and last week um, something happened and my boyfriend was just like I think it's time you actually um, sorted everything out it's time that you handled everything um, you can't go on like this and it's just gonna get worse and I'm not trying to make this like an emotional video or any of that but um When I look back on that moment, it scares the hell out of me. And I'm sure it scared my boyfriend, it scared the people that knew about it. So I'm just at that point where I've decided that it's time for me to just get help. Um, get everything out um be helped to avoid those feelings to avoid all of that to avoid all those thoughts to avoid all the anxiety to avoid all those all that insomnia all that anxiousness like that self-hate the guilt the um, all of that you know so um So, um, going away, I'm not going to be uploading videos on YouTube, I won't be active on Instagram, um, on Facebook, I'm hardly active on Facebook, so that's what it is, but I won't be active, I won't be active on my WhatsApp as well, um, because, yeah, where I'm going to, I feel like it's very important for me to just take myself out from the world society and all that so that i can just really really get into the depths of everything that's been affecting me all these years um still affecting me now so that i stop the cycle because um i've seen how you know how your let's say your sister or let's say your brother let's say your brother can is going through stuff and your brother has a child if your brother is still going through a lot that can be transferred to the child and then that child can have issues all right and then that can transcend into their adulthood and then they have children and then it just goes on like that for years um and i hate to be i hate to think this way but i just feel like in the black society we don't face things we don't face emotions we don't face hurt we don't face all of that because we're like stop being dramatic stop being over emotional focus on your studies uh, focus on your life focus on making money and having a good life but that won't help whatever is going on inside and whatever is going on inside the moment you have from what i've seen 
when you have children it's just gonna keep on going from generation to generation and like if I can say other races you know they are they are not afraid to say they're not okay you know they're not afraid to say flip I need help can somebody help me you know so I've also felt like <clears throat> when I I'm not gonna say who and whatnot but I found myself <clears throat> also last week I found myself um, venting you know and I mentioned a few things I've gone through to a very close person in my life um, and the response I got it just it just took me back to maybe I shouldn't have come forward maybe I shouldn't have said anything maybe I should have kept quiet you know um, and it made me feel it didn't make me feel good so I'm not gonna blame that person for how they reacted because they are probably also going through things you know um, but I just feel like if we can as a society get to a point where we can talk about things freely there won't be like people holding on to pain and anger and all of this for so many years <sighs> yeah so that's it um i hope i can start a series on youtube where I'm going to talk about what I've gone through, um, how I'm handling it, my whole journey. Because um, I'd like to hope that it's going to help somebody and they won't feel alone. They won't feel like they're overreacting. They won't feel like... They won't feel like something. They won't feel like something is wrong with them, you know, because everyone's emotions count. Everyone's feelings count. It's just that we live in a world where there's so much anger, so much pain and everything that sometimes people's feelings are disregarded. You know and it doesn't matter like how small it might seem to the next person everyone's emotions count if someone can feel like crappy about their whole day because maybe their hair didn't come out good or something there's something there you know no matter how small it is there's something there and it needs to be attended to make the person feel good you know not just like oh here you go again you know but anyway guys oh okay let me just blow that out So, um, yeah, I hope this series will just really help. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit some parts out of this video um, because I'm just, as, as much as I want to start this series, I'm also scared of being vulnerable and then feeling like I'm being judged. Or having the same words that are already going through my mind for them to come to surface or to feel like I'm humiliating 
some people or to feel like I'm oversharing or whatnot but I'm just gonna try and do the series and just really connect with people and not because as much as I'm a happy person and I'm a goofy person and whatnot sometimes things get real I have spent years putting on a facade facade whatever that I'm happy um, you know I'm positive I'm, um, I'm all these things but in reality um, when I'm alone that's when things are completely different um, so I'm just tired of that I'm tired of feeling that way thinking that way and I want to change that and if maybe you are going through something similar or you know someone who's going through something similar even though I didn't get into the main problems the main emotions and all of that um, just be there for that person um, even a text message a call it really makes a difference because um, more than anything when I look back on last week the, the one thing I really needed the most was just constant love constant warmth positivity um, that's what I needed the most um, did I get it yeah, in, from certain people um, but sometimes people don't know you know you just you get so good at putting on a show that they don't know you know no one knows even your best friend doesn't know you know it's just I don't know like like my boyfriend you know he just he knows he can feel it you know it's like he can feel my soul or he can feel my heart you know I can be like happy and um, goofy cracking jokes whatnot but for some reason it's like he can tell that you know I'm not okay which is weird like even over the phone he can call me and I could be laughing like maybe watching TV and he'll ask me are you okay and I'll be like yeah I'm okay I'm okay and he, I don't know how but for some reason he'll pick up that no you're not okay and um, sometimes I'll keep insisting that I'm okay and I'm sure it frustrates him but he will still like keep trying to get to what's really happening um, and I appreciate him so much I hope he sees this video because um, by the time this is up I'll probably be on my way leaving or I will be already there so um, I just want him to know that I appreciate everything he has been through the most um, I have put him through the most but he's still he's still there and he still feels me so I appreciate him so much I appreciate you so much um, I feel like this conversation will say in person or in private but I appreciate him I love him so much um, I love my family my friends um, I'm not in focus sorry for that um, Tiseto, Cabo, um, Kubedi, um, Enrica, Kelia, Jessica, Barbara who else um, I'm not forgetting I'm trying to like remind myself um, oh wow teacher Anon like all the people that just saw that as much as like you know when you've done someone so wrong and you expect them to just never want anything to do with you but it's like they can see what's happening inside those are the people I'm mentioning um, a gift, um, 
Tasneem, Julia, Grace, um, Malebu, Sister Cup, Motel, um, my aunt and Maggie and Mampa, who's been like a guardian angel to like my mom, you know, through everything that's going on with us at home, um, meaning us as siblings. She's been there for my mom. Um, um, yeah, the list goes on. The list really goes on. But I appreciate you all, even my subscribers, for continuously supporting me. Um, thank you to everyone for everything. Um, I want to come back just being like, like lighter and happier and um having forgiven myself more than anything because that's the thing i'm just struggling the most with um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um i was really scared of releasing this video because yeah i'm thinking i'm overthinking and whatnot but i just thought just sit down record it tell your subscribers that you're not going to be around let them know and then i'll be back and then everything will get better we'll start this series get love get forgiveness get self-help everything out there so that it's not such a bad thing and people are not scared to say i've got a problem say i'm not okay say i need love i need warmth i need i need you you know to be able to say that you know don't leave me um yeah you know there's some there's some factors where it just becomes a little blurred but i hope that this series will help this video will help um love yourself um appreciate the people that are there for you um be there for someone who's going through something like this or you see that something is not okay or you see them lashing out or they're not being themselves they're saying things they don't usually say um they're eating more than usual they're eating less than usual they are going out more than usual or they're not going out the way they used to just pick up on those things and really be there like a call an sms those things mean the world a hug i'm not even gonna get into that because i don't want to cry but yeah guys um thank you guys i am I feel that tears coming and I'm not gonna cry so this is the end of the video thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys when I come back